Enterprise Content Management for IBM can solve many different business challenges by supporting your knowledge workers, providing information to improve decisions, enhancing case outcomes, and enabling businesses to take control. Today we will focus on using advanced case management for complaints management. Paula receives a complaint filed by the customer in her in-basket. She reviews the case information as well as past related cases for this customer. Paula reviews the invoice and is able to conclude that a redress is in order. The redress amount is above a given threshold so Jim, the payment specialist, will have to approve it. He reviews the case information and approves the redress. Carly contacts the customer to let him know that he will be receiving a redress and to verify that he is satisfied with the resolution. While on the phone with Carly, the customer remembers that he wants to add his daughter to the credit line. Carly is able to create an ad hoc task from within Case Manager to add his daughter. Ronnie, the customer service manager, analyzes information representing customer sentiment and trends. She notices a large volume of complaints regarding overcharged payments for online purchases. Using content analytics, she discovers that these complaints are associated with overcharges for a specific product. She notifies the online support team so they can address the recurring issue. Paula Small is our complaint specialist who reviews complaints submitted by various customers. She utilizes documentation that is both supplied by the customer and or stored in the company repositories to resolve the case in the most efficient way. Paula logs into the system and sees the list of items in the work in basket. She selects the first item in her in basket. Opening the review complaint work item will show the general case information and all the included documents. In this case, Thomas Maxwell mailed a letter detailing his complaint and attached the receipt being disputed. Paula reviews the dispute of charge letter sent by Thomas Maxwell. After reviewing the document, she closes the viewer and looks at the completed and in-process tasks related to this specific case. This allows her to know what tasks she can work on that have not already been initiated by another team member. Paula is able to look at the History tab to see both system and user-initiated events that have occurred for this given case. In that same section, the Case Response tab has fields that Paula will fill out after she determines the best resolution for this complaint. Below the Customer Details tab, Paula sees that there are two related cases for this customer. She opens a related complaint that the customer previously filed to see if there is any relevant information. She double checks that this is not a resubmission for a mistake in the resolution of a previous complaint. Paula expands the case visualizer to see a graphical representation of the tasks that were executed for the previous complaint. Once Paula is familiar with the case details in previous cases, she reviews the customer's last monthly statement to verify the amount that was charged to the customer's credit card. She searches the database for Focus Corporation using the keyword statement and the customer's account number. The search returns all the statements associated with this account number. Paula then selects the correct statement to review for this complaint. Before adding the document to the case, Paula reviews the document. She then opens the invoice supplied by the customer and the statement she just retrieved. The viewer allows her to compare both items side by side. Indeed, the credit card statement shows the amount the customer was charged, $188.85, while the invoice shows $18.85. The customer was definitely overcharged. Paula uses the annotation tool to mark the overcharged item on the statement. Paula concludes that there was an error in the amount billed to the customer and initiates a $170 refund for the customer. Jim is a payment specialist at Focus Corporation who receives complaint cases that have been assigned a redress amount requiring additional approval. He reviews case information and decides whether or not the redress amount assigned by the specialist is appropriate. Jim is able to view his work items from his mobile device and sees Thomas Maxwell's case. He opens the case and views the completed and in-process tasks that have been initiated for this particular case. As part of the 360 degree view of the complaint case process, Jim is also able to look at the history of the case. He is able to view the list of documents that have been added to the case. Using the document viewer, he opens the invoice statement with the original charge, Jim also views the credit statement that shows the amount that Thomas was charged on his credit line. After viewing the documents, Jim verifies that the redress amount is correct. 
Jim approves the redress and his role for this complaint case is now complete. Carly Hall is the representative of the contact center. She is responsible for providing information to customers and maintaining an open line of communication to enhance the quality of their experiences. Carly sees the list of items in her in-basket. She selects the case for Thomas Maxwell, awaiting acceptance. Carly opens the case and contacts the customer to verify that the redress amount is acceptable to resolve his complaint. While on the phone with Thomas, he accepts the redress amount and inquires about adding his daughter to the credit line since she'll be going to college in the fall. While this task is handled by another department, Carly can initiate the task and provide Thomas with a seamless customer experience. She clicks the new ad hoc task button to create the task. Carly completes the necessary items for the task to add an additional member to the existing credit line. All the required fields have now been added and the task has been validated. Carly initiates this new task. Since the redress amount was accepted, Carly clicks the Customer Accepted Redress button, completing the case. Ronnie is the manager in charge of customer satisfaction. She opens a real-time monitoring system to analyze statistics about case loads, processing times, frequencies, etc., and uses this information to get an overall view of the customer service process. Ronnie views various dashboards to see graphical representations of workloads and processing times for the complaint management process. She notices that the inventory of working cases is higher than usual. Using content analytics, she can analyze both structured and unstructured text from customer cases. She selects the keyword complaint to add to her query. Ronnie sees that the verb overcharge has a high correlation with all the documents that are related to recent complaints. This signifies that most of the recent complaints are associated with overcharging, so she adds this to her query as well. Ronnie wants to know what specific products, if any, are related to the complaints, so she selects a customized facet that contains a list of the most recently purchased items. Apparel has a high correlation with complaints related to being overcharged. She clicks on the Documents tab to see a list of documents that result from her query. From this result, she can see that there is an overcharging issue with online orders for apparel. Based on this analysis, she would contact the apparel management team in order to initiate corrective action, while also notifying the online support team so they can address any additional incoming complaints quickly and effectively. Today we have seen how IBM Case Manager provides the capabilities for effective and efficient complaints management. All tasks and events are visible within the case, providing a 360-degree view to the team of knowledge workers, thus contributing to a streamlined flow of processes. Documents are easily accessed and added to the case, providing the necessary information to define the most accurate and effective result. Information and data is leveraged and analyzed, which helps the business identify patterns that require corrective actions and maintain a high level of customer satisfaction. For more information, please contact IBM. Thank you.